Morning, everybody. We're here for another dye experiment. It is iron mordanted fabric. Now, the reason I want to do this is because I really like the perfect outlines on the iron mordanted fabric, but I'm not getting that except on the dye blanket. So I'm thinking that if I just mordant an iron, now, no one says to mordant silk in iron. It's not good for protein fibers. So I'm not going to do that, but it is recommended for cotton. So we're going to try that and see how we do. So let the experimentation begin. Good morning, everybody. We're ready to start our next uh, dye experiment. We're going to mordant our fabric in iron and do other things while it's sitting in the iron, but <clears throat> we're going to intend for this to be printed upon by our leaves and see if we can get a replica of what we, what or what I liked in the other prints. Uh, we have lots of other stuff to do, but that's just the beginning for this experiment. So I will see you in a bit. Here is our iron mordant experiment fabrics where we're just gonna put leaves with no further reaction items, just leaves. So we're gonna let these soak for as long as it takes me to get everything else done that I want to. And then we will roll these up and do a printing experiment and see if I'm correct that we can get the red buds and the eucalyptus to print onto an iron mordanted fabric. We can do it. Okay, here's our brave attempt at just iron as a mordant and letting it react with the tannins. And we are going to do that also with red bud, roll it up and steam it for two hours as usual. Okay, iron dye blanket red bud version. I'm gonna fold these over so we get double prints of everything. We can see if it actually is printing better top to bottom. Hopefully oak gall is not required for this experiment because we are hoping to get these to actually print this time. So fingers crossed and they will steam for two hours with the eucalyptus. Okay, our iron mordanted steam attempts are coming out and we will shortly know if we have succeeded in getting them to print with the eucalyptus. So hopefully we did all right. And oh, well, it smells like they did something. Oh, good Lord. Hello, friends, countrymen, and weeder birds. This is our iron mordanted fabric experiment where we put nothing else but iron soaked. Thank you, cat. No, no help needed. Uh, scoured fabric into a iron bath as the mordant, put only leaves and plastic. That's the only thing that has assisted on this. And we will see how that worked for us. Hopefully we get some cool prints. Well, there's definitely reactions happening. Okay. All right. Well, we did fine. Good job us. Wow, we did it. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have been so worried. All right, I'm going to do a speed demon through this so that you don't have to watch me unwrap for 45 years. And you missed the worst part of the insane howling from my neighbor's dog. But whoa, look at this. I think we may have used too much iron in the mordant. But it's definitely my favorite thing I've made so far. Because look at this waggy looking thing. I love it. I just want to look like a bog. Oh my gosh, it's really good. Let me get a couple pictures of it as we're looking at it together. And we will see... 
how much of this actually stays after we wash it. But I think it's pretty bad. Actually, really neat. I shouldn't use that word on the internet. Well, success there. A plus drop. <laughs> A plus on that one. All right, and here comes number two. And I will again do the speed unroll so you need not watch the whole thing. <laughs> to be a bit of luck of the draw. I'm going to continue dyeing these, obviously, since this is my whole new life that I've started. Uh, you know, normal stuff. But uh, I'm going to continue trying this because maybe during different parts of the year, the leaves are more likely. We'll probably lose a lot of this pink, so let's enjoy it while we can. Let's uh, be super impressed with the beauty of that. And then we'll scooch down so you can see the other side of the print. I did that whole foldy boldy thing again. And I just love the red buds because they make these like perfect hearts sometimes. We did get, look, look, we did get good printing. You can see it. Wow. Wow. Would you look at that? We did it. Aren't we clever? All right, so red bud leaves requires an iron blanket to print. Because this is kind of like what I'm hoping for. That would be like my ideal. Is right there. That little gent. So we'll have to figure out if it's dry leaves, wet leaves. Because like, look, that one's really good too. We'll probably lose some of this purple. So we'll enjoy it while it lasts. And then I will return to you when I have laundered our iron mordanted fabric experiments for leaf printing. On cotton. Alrighty, to review our iron dye mordant or our iron mordanted fabric and then we just added eucalyptus here is a review of our two pieces that we did this one is all in eucalyptus the other one is all in red bud i think we may have had a little too much iron just for this specific fabric i didn't get any more i couldn't find any more of the super uh like kind of not fluffy but looser weave muslin when i was at the store so I just found this and it did do some really great printing, but it also got like a little bit crazier than I think I was anticipating, but I really love it. I think every bit of it is usable. Some of it looks like mountains that you could stitch trees onto. There's like so many cool pictures I can see coming out of this or weird spacey landscapes or something. So I love this piece. And then let's look at our red bud print. And here is our very cool red bud print, which I'm noticing when they are placed ribs down, good. The little baby stems, good. The younger the leaf, the better the print, it seems. The bigger the leaf, the less excellent the print. We still got much better prints, but I don't know that I would say we have hacked the red bud just yet. 
Sorry for that sound. It's my cat jumping onto my chair trying to access his cat jungle gym that he won't access from his actual access point because it scares him. But anyway, we did get some really, really neat, highly detailed prints down here. And I just love that you can go hunting for really, really special little prints hiding out. I'm sure it would be more ideal if every single one was like that, but I don't think that that is the nature of natural eco printing. But look how great this little guy is. And that's because I folded these over to uh, capitalize on the leaf matter. Uh, because this one we were just literally using iron as a mordant, putting the leaf fibers or leaves down onto the fiber, and then steaming the bejesus out of it and seeing what, what comes. So I think it worked great. If you're trying to get a more ephemeral leaf prints that are from thinner, more delicate leaves, I think that the iron mordant is a great way to go. And if you find a forest pansy redbud, they make these beautiful heart-shaped leaves that are just adorable year-round. I really hope you enjoyed this dye experiment. I hope you'll come back again soon, and I hope to see you in another experiment. If you would please like or subscribe or let me know what your favorite print was from this experiment, I would be eternally grateful as I'm continuing my journey of becoming a mostly independent, partially disabled artist. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next experiment. Bye!